Good morning, this is Coach Brunet. I'm Program Manager for the Bay City Facility, and this is our Little Ninjas video lesson number 24. Now guys, we're gonna begin today with our student creep. So feet together, set, and let's bow. Very good. Now, repeat after me. Say, I will develop myself in a positive manner and avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. I will develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. I will use common sense before self-defense and never be abusive or offensive. This is a black belt school. We are dedicated. We are motivated. We are on a quest to be our best. Winners never quit. Quitters never win. I choose to win. Very good job, ninjas. Let's bow one more time. Because that was an awesome student creed. And I know you guys have been working really hard lately on doing your creed, on doing your lessons. And I applaud you for that. Martial artists, you are determined. You guys have a fire inside you. And you got to keep that going. Just because it's summertime doesn't mean we forget who we are. Because deep down, we are leaders. We are the ones who set the tone. So now that it's nice out, that means we step our game up. That means when we're outside, we're mindful of our life skills. We're mindful of being respectful, of caring about your friends, about your other, other people. I want you to think about that other person this week. I want you to put your feet in their shoes, if you will. So understand when, when you're playing with your friends or you're, you're talking to someone, treat them in a kind way. Because that's all we have in life is to be respectful to others. And as martial artists, we set that tone. By you treating someone nice, that could in turn make that person treat someone else nicely. We, we put out good, positive vibes. So I want you guys to think about that when we're doing our, our, our workout today, when you're going out in the world this week, when you're, when you're playing with your friends. I want you guys to be positive and I want you to be mindful of other people. So let's get into our guard stance. Let's put our hands up to our cheeks. Let's bring our, our one leg forward, one leg back, and we're going to work on our slips today. Now when we slip, we are dodging a punch. We're not dodging a wrecking ball, uh, the Hulk isn't punching me with this giant huge hand. No, we're dodging two knuckles. So when somebody throws a punch at us, a correct punch, we're dodging two knuckles. So we just turn our shoulders over and from there we can uh, dodge or avoid a punch. So either way we turn, I'm turning my shoulder over to avoid a strike. So. We're going to work on our slips. So when we slip, the first time we're going to slip, we're going to slip with our lead side. The second time we slip, we're going to slip with our rear side. So when I say slip, you're going to go slip, slip. So I say slip, you go slip, slip. Ninjas, are you ready? In three, two, one, slip, slip, slip. Good, let's try it again. Slip, slip, slip. And keep in mind, I'm not bending, I'm not doing anything crazy, I'm not combining uh, my slip with a bobbin weave. No, I'm staying in place. I'm simply turning my heels in the back here. See, my feet are turning. I'm turning my shoulder over and avoiding a punch. So again, ready, slip, 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 again. Slip, slip, slip. One more time. Slip, slip, slip. Good work, ninjas. Now, we are going to work on our bob and weaves. This is a great way to warm ourselves up as well as 
you know, working on our Bob Ruiz is a, a great skill to have in our repertoire. So if someone throws a hook or throws a really super high kick, we can get underneath it, we can avoid it. So remember, when we're in our guard stance, the bob and weave is just like this. We step, step. So I'm making a U with my body, I'm keeping my back straight, I'm not bending at any point. I keep my back straight, I step. If I'm going, let's say I'm going right, I step with my lead leg on that side, bend straight down, I step with the other leg and straight back up. So step, step. It's a lot harder to do slow motion. So this is a quick move and a lot of times you can get to the opponent's dead side, get underneath their guard and find an opening a lot of times with the bob and weave. So again, we step, 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 Step. So let's try this out. When I say Bob, you're going to say Bob and Weave. So I say Bob, you're going to Bob and Weave. Bob. Bob and Weave. So step, step, moving our body. Ready? Three, two, one. Bob. Bob and Weave. Good. Again. Bob. Bob and Weave. Good. One more time. Bob. Bob and weave. Excellent. So now we can add this to our combinations. We can add this to our shadow work. So now I want you to move around. I want you to bob and weave. I want you to use your slips and then add in combinations to it. And we're going to do some fun stuff here. We're going to be moving around doing our shadow work, doing our bobs and weaves while we do our shadow work. But I want you to listen because when I say to sprawl, you have to freeze, put your hands down on the ground and sprawl out and then pop right back up. And I want you to immediately do either a bob and a weave or a slip, slip, and go right back into your combinations. So you're gonna be shadow boxing, listening for my sprawls. You're gonna pop out of the sprawl and do either one of the two defensive counter techniques either the bob and the weave or the um, or the slips. So let's try this out in three, two, one, go. Let's shadow box, throw some punches, do whatever you like, add in some kicks, and freeze, sprawl, hands down, sprawl your body out, pop right back up, and back into punches. Oh, do your bob and weave or do your slip. Good, and then back into your punches. And three, two, one. Sprawl, hands down, sprawl down, back up. Good, bob, or sprawl, slip, slip. I keep wanting to say sprawl. And sprawl. And three, two, one. Time. So the big thing is, is we're listening. We're being mindful of our bodies. We are in control of our actions, even when we're doing our shadow work. We practice our shadow work like we would practice in real life. We practice for if someone's trying to attack us, if someone's trying to hurt us, we are ready for anything. So now ninjas, I want you to work on our back kicks. So when we kick straight back, the biggest thing is we want to look behind us. So if I want to kick straight at you, I'm going to look right at you, I'm going to bring my knee up, I'm going to kick straight back out. This is a very powerful kick, and we only use it if we really need to move someone back away from us, but we're using the bottom of our foot, and this is a turning back kick. So a lot of times when I do my turning back kick, I like to turn my feet, and then from there I can kick behind me, but the idea is I can turn very quickly and kick behind me. I can do it from a standing position using my rear leg or my lead leg, but the idea is I bring my knee up, I kick straight back out, I look. So this is a very, very useful kick. So if you have someone that can hold a pad for you or hold a pillow or a cushion behind you, this is a great drill to work on, to work on our control. 
So the person holding the pad will then tell you when to strike. You don't decide when to strike here, guys. Martial artists, the pad holder will tell you when they are ready for you to strike. So they'll say, kick or go or hit. Then you look, knee up, strike through and out. So the idea is I look, knee up, leg out. So I'm kicking straight back and out. So together, knee up, straight back, and out. So martial artists, take some time, work on that, do that 10, 15 times on both legs. You should be feeling it here a little bit with, with doing these attacks because they're a great way to build up our stability mus muscles in our legs and our feet and help us work on our balance. So moving forward, we need to understand that martial arts, there's a time and a place to use these moves. We can't just be beating up anybody, and we need to know that these slips, these bob and weaves, they help us understand that we can maintain the upper hand and get control of the situation. A lot of times, if I use a bob and weave, you can surprise someone just by doing that because they're expecting to throw a punch at you. They don't know what they're doing. They're angry, and they miss. You pop up after a bob and weave and say, hey, how are you doing? That a lot of times will wake someone up like, wow, he could have really hurt me. You can show insane re respect to somebody and control and discipline by not throwing that punch. If you're really good at slips and bob and weaves, really, you don't need to ever fight anybody because they can't ever hit you. Someone who's angry, someone who's not thinking, they're not going to throw a million punches at you. You know, they're gonna throw a few angry punches. And if you can avoid those punches, and you can avoid conflict, if you can avoid throwing a punch back and escalating the problem, that can a lot of times solve you all of your problems. So understanding that a lot of times, yes, we under we learn these moves and we throw counterattacks afterwards, but we could just use these counter moves just to escape, just to get away, or to get the upper hand so that we can be in control. To, to help this person, to get them on a, on a better level. So understand this, a martial arts. What we're gonna do today is we're going to slip and then we're gonna counter with a punch right afterwards. So if I slip from my lead side, I can then counter with my cross. Or if I slip with my rear side, I can counter with my jab. So understanding I slip, punch, slip, punch. So. Right after I slip, I can even add in my cover. If, I, if there's no avoiding the attack, and a little quick move, I can add in that cover. I can even be using that elbow that we learned last time. But understanding, I can block, I can avoid, and then I can attack. I can dish that back out. This is only if we really have to, Ninja. So understanding, we slip, jab, or slip, cross. Now, slips are used a lot of times when someone's throwing straight punches. We're not able to parry. It's happening very quickly. Maybe you don't have your hands up quick enough. You know, it takes time to get our hands up to throw those parries. So you don't have time to get your hands up. You quickly avoid. Strike, strike, strike. Or let's say they throw a wide hook or they throw even a fast hook, but you have time to see the hook coming. Then you can bob weave throw a hook yourself you can throw a high hook a low hook to the body we can then throw knees if we have to but the idea is we avoid then we can counter strike so we can let's say they throw a hook from this way we step step bob and weave i'm now across like his body's here i can strike strike but the idea is I don't have to throw a single punch. If I bob and weave underneath that strike, I can throw a palm strike to the shoulder, knock that person off balance, put them on the ground, possibly stand, you know, and say, let's get things right here, you know, let's figure things out. I don't want to escalate things more. The idea is you're in control. At this point, you know what to do, martial artists. Use the the least amount of force possible in that situation. The more force you use with that person, the more they're going to respond back. So 
if you are you know, looking for a fight, martial arts, you will find one. But at our age, we need to understand that we are in charge, we are in control of our bodies, and we know what to do. Martial arts, I trust you, and I look forward to you guys using these skills in your daily lives. And if I don't hear from you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thank you. Goodbye.